There is a pure magic in snow, something that is so elegant and soft in it, something that always makes me relaxed and in awe. When the winter is so cold and most of the plants are naked from leaves, snow is a comforting friend of mine, which covers everything like a fluffy blanket full of white light. It makes everything so beautiful and calm. It's like light in the darkness of winter. Since I came to Sweden for the first time three years ago, I fell in love with it. I admired its relaxation, its way of peacefulness and just a gentle way of living. When I finally came to Sweden, I was so excited with my next step of volunteering in the farm, as I told you in my last video. And I was, I was quite a mess. But at the same time, I was full of excitement and I was so comforted when the snow came to visit. So I went to the forest outside to play. There is something that is always making me relaxed when I'm in a train from one destination to another. There is something that is so comforting knowing that there's nothing to do besides looking at the moving landscapes. And finally I got to the farm. It was in a small little town in the middle of nowhere, or at least it was a small road with a few homesteads, one next to each other. I got my room that was in the top floor of this beautiful house. And I started to organize my clothes and my stuff that would serve me for this next two weeks. At the beginning, it was me and two more volunteers. One that was living in the door in front of me and the other one that was living in a house outside of the main house. Later, two more volunteers joined in and out of privacy, none of the volunteers are in my videos. Quite fast, I found myself joining the routine of the farm with their breakfast and their breaks and sessions of work during the day. Part of the tasks in the farm 
was to cut all the long weeds and all the old plants that were quite dying at this time of the year. It was after a long winter, so most of the plants were dying and I needed to make space for new plants to grow, both from aesthetics reasons and also from the health of the plants. I gotta tell you, it was so freezing. I know that you can't see all the leftovers of the snow, but believe me, it was really, really cold that I had to wear some thermal clothes and a sweater and a coat. It seemed like a never ending job to cut all of those small trees and high grass. But at the same time, it felt very therapeutic to work with my hands and the soil and the plants and to work outside of the house. So I'm after my second day at the farm, at like actually working here. And the first, like, uh, I'm here three days, but the first day was like just uh, making errands in the city and taking uh, groceries and stuff that are ecological and local and everything and uh, I must admit that it's hard and well I expected it to be hard but uh, now did, like usually it's like two sessions of work uh, but today, uh, after lunch, that was really easy. It, it wasn't like a heavy lunch. Uh, we came back to work very fast just to continue the, the mood of working. We had to sort these tiles, these roof tiles. And it was a lot of work, a lot of work. And we needed to carry them from one spot to another because it's an Airbnb and things need to look right. And my coat got out of control there. It's so, it's such a pity. It's, a, it's such a pity. Um, and all my pants are like wet. And yeah, never mind. It's going to be tricky to show you right now. Uh, <sighs> but I just had to put on the, the phone and take a video of this because it's been snow and we work all day in the snow and now it's really quiet now it's the quiet time This is so beautiful. I thought I heard an animal, but it was just me and my coat touching the tree. I'm just at my break now, uh, between uh, the tasks in the farm. And I'm actually in the end of the break, so I should really go back. Um, today was actually a nice day. We were learning how to cook and to bake and to do th things in the kitchen. It was like a baking course, but uh, yeah, it's mainly because it helps us to help more in the kitchen. <laughs> and um, so uh, I decided to take the really short break. It was like a 40 minutes break now because I also rested a little bit in the room and I went around for 
a walk because I had to and it's snowy and it's pretty really beautiful and I need to go back now I was giving a lot of tasks and work to do that weren't necessarily related to any growing food or plants or even building things in a house. And each moment passing by, I realized that I am not learning a lot. And I was having a hard time with one of the farm's owners and it was really challenging for me. After being so excited, I felt so overwhelmed and disappointed. I wasn't expecting that these things would be my challenges in this farm. I found myself very triggered and especially as a people pleaser. I found it hard to listen to my boundaries and to stand on my rights when I needed. I found it hard to communicate my needs and my feelings. I found it hard to balance between the tasks in the farm and my art and the hours of my rest. So it was really hard to keep on creating my videos while I was being there. As a people pleaser, I tend to prioritize other people instead of myself and I try to align with their lives instead of being true to my own life. The pace of the place was really fast for me and I felt as I am in a full-time job with all of the stress but with just a different landscape. My main goal for going to volunteer in a farm was to have a slower rhythm than the city to be able to connect more to myself and to nature. It all made me really exhausted. And while I was really supported by other volunteers in the farm, I was comforted the most by nature, where I was mainly in my days off. I was recharged by its unjudging energy and by its infinite beauty and magic. Nature is the main reason I came here and during the week I barely saw it. And finally, I got some time to reconnect, recharge and to nurture my soul again. I think there is a woodpecker. I hear him. I hear it. But I wonder if I should switch the lens. But at the same time, I don't want to disturb it and it would fly away. As I came back recharged from nature, I knew that I need to make a change and this is not a place for me. After searching for a few solutions and ways to go out, I decided to end my volunteering after two weeks and find some cozy place to land in. I didn't know how and I didn't know where, but I knew that 
I would find a place that would be more accurate to my needs right now.